Hi, my dear kids. I'm Cik Gudila and today we will learn about scientific skills. This topic is in science standard 2 or year 2. The first scientific skills that you need to know is observe. Observe? Ah. Okay, see this girl. She is observing something. She observe the tree, the plant. So what is observing? Observing is the process skills of gathering information about the change around us by seeing, smelling, tasting, touching, and listening. So we are using our sense to observe. Let's observe this activity. See, there is a mom and there are two kids. They are making a bread. Okay, let's read over their conversations. Suri, mom, what are the ingredients to make a bread? The mother, we need flour, salt, sugar, water and yeast to make bread. Arman, what should we do? First... The mother said, first, we mix the flour with salt, sugar, yeast, and water. Then, we knead the dough until it's smooth. Next, we cover the dough with a clean, wet towel and leave it for an hour. Then, after one hour, what happened? Wow, the Arman said, the dough has risen. The mother said, let's put it into the oven. After 30 minutes, the bread in the oven, they heard the sound of ting. Okay, mom, the timer has sounded. Is the bread done? The bread smells nice. Can I open the oven now? Arman said. Mother, wait. Don't touch the hot oven. Use this oven glove. The bread tastes good. Yes. The bread also soft and fluffy. Okay, so now we have read all or the entire conversations of Suri, Arman and their mother. Then we can make a, an observation. So, this is some of the observations that we can make based on the activity. The first, they saw the change in the dough. Before and after one hour, the dough has arisen. Next, they heard the sound of the oven. What the sound of the oven again? Ding! Ah. Next, they smell the bread. The bread smells very good. Smells delicious. Okay, the taste of the bread? Very delicious. Smells good. Tastes delicious. Okay. Next, they also touch the bread. How does it look like? So fluffy. Okay. Next. <laughs> observe. Okay. Here. We need to observe the characteristics of the animals below. What is the animals? We have chicken. Cow. What happened to the W? It's a cow. Penguin. Panda. Owl. And also a lion. What observation can we make? Let's look at all of this animals we have animals with feathers we have animals with four leg we have animal with two leg so this is the example of observations that we can make based on the characteristic of the animals first a chicken have a chicken has wings and two legs a lion does not have wings but has four legs an owl has wing and two legs. Meanwhile, the panda does not have wings but have four legs. The penguin have wings. Remember, even the penguin cannot fly, but the penguin have a wing, has a wing, a pair of wings, <laughs> and two legs. A cow does not have wings but have four legs. So here. We have animal with four legs, animal with two legs, and animal with feathers. Now, what we need to do is, 
we can classify we can classify all these animals into two groups okay which is the first group animal with wings and the second group is animals without wings okay here we can see that chicken penguin and owl is an animal with wings meanwhile cow panda and lion is animals without wings next we already classify we already observe next we need to know how to measure and use number for example in order for us to measure some things we need to use the correct standard tools for example if we want to measure the length of something we can use a ruler if we want to measure the mass of something we need to use measuring weight or this one ha ah, weighing scale so if we want to identify the volume of a liquid what we can use we can use measuring cylinder or maybe we can use a beaker for this one i give an example we have two boy eh two boys we have two children one girls and one boys both are on the weighing scale next we can record the data this is the example of information can be recorded we can put the information in a table for example like this we have the name of the children so amira and ahmad so amira is 28 kg meanwhile ahmad 31 kg so from the, this table we can see that ahmad is much heavier compared to amira next okay communicate that is another scientific skills that you need to learn here communicate is either can be writing reading or talking so in to communicate is how we give an informations to other people so reading and writing our informations are part of communication skills so we need to know how to write we need to know how to read so that is a part of communication skills communication skills can be also in form of picture chart graph or models so if you want to convert if you want to let other people know some things it's not only by reading or writing or talking you can use a picture a diagram a chart for example we have a picture ah where the ego the ego is down we can use it the picture chart graph or maybe a model okay i this one l also goes down i don't know why <laughs> it's a model okay so that is communicate we also have a manipulative skills the difference is scientific skills and manipulative skills manipulative is something that we do okay manipulative skills refer to the ability to use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly when carrying out scientific investigations when we do the experiment this is the skill so what is the skill for example the first one we need to have the skill how to use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly okay for example like when we pouring a liquid make sure the liquid doesn't uh flow away okay or get out on the your table and mess around we don't want that okay next we need to know how to handle specimen correctly and carefully okay handling live specimen for example like in the diagram and then we also need to know how to sketch specimens apparatus and science substance correctly so when you sketch the specimen or the apparatus make sure some other people can identify what you drawing what the things that you sketch ah okay next number four you need to know how to clean science apparatus correctly when you use the science apparatus make sure you know how to clean it 
and lastly you need to know how to store where to store the apparatus and substances after doing the experiment and keep it safe okay that is the manipulative skills do you have any more okay i think that's it for scientific skills i hope you learned something make sure you like and subscribe my video for next learning and let's next learning oh no 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 for next video so you can learn better <laughs> okay bye